Well, hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we've got kind of a random vlog. We are out in uh, the middle of Massachusetts, basically at an area called Crow Hill. And this is where I'm gonna start my run today. If you've been following the channel or the podcast, you might remember that I had a 100 mile ultra marathon that was supposed to happen actually today, this morning. Unfortunately, uh, the Vermont 100 endurance race was canceled because um, Vermont is basically flooded and underwater right now. There was a gnarly storm and they got dumped on and the amount of water that the state saw was unprecedented. So they're actually in a state of an emergency right now. And so the race director canceled the race, which is not a surprise. And honestly, it feels kind of silly to even think that we'd be running at a time like that for such a huge emergency for the state. But um, at the same time, selfishly, I still, you know, it's still kind of a bummer. It's pretty sad, you know, all the training and planning and hotel rooms and uh, you know, nutrition and all the things that were planned and ready for the day, uh, unfortunately, I won't get to use, but that's okay. Today, we're out here at Crow Hill, and the plan is to run from here uh, to a mountain called Wachusett Mountain. The bugs are crazy right now, so if you see me doing this a lot, that's why. Um, we're gonna run up to Wachusett Mountain. Uh, we're gonna go up and over the mountain, and then we're gonna run down the other side and turn around and then come back here. And I think that whole thing should be about uh, 15 miles with like, I don't know, 3,500 feet of elevation gain. So today we're gonna be using the Garmin Foreigner 965 for a watch. And I've got my route loaded into the watch so I can actually follow it in real time and I won't get lost, hopefully. I've got the map on there, everything's good to go. So we're gonna get started. To kick things off, we're gonna head up the ledges trail. This brings you to the top of ledges where a lot of rock climbers hang out and start their climbs uh, but for me i'll just be running through and interestingly enough the mid-state trail is part of this this part of the trail and if you dig back far enough uh, you'll find my first 100 mile ultra marathon was on the mid-state trail Since this is a self-supported run, I brought my whole mountain kit today. So I've got three flasks of water, two in the front, one in the back. I've got a water filter with me if I need to stop for water along the way. And all the necessary things, first aid, duct tape, band-aids, you know, the usual. But the pack is a lot heavier. <laughs> and uh, I haven't run with my mountain pack in a while, so been an adjustment today so you can see here the uh the trails and you'll notice the middle one on belay trail because if you look up here you've got these huge ledges that make for some really cool rock climbing opportunities so if you're a rock climber in massachusetts this is one of the few areas that you can come to get some good laps in on decent rock now this part of the trail is really steep as you can see behind me basically it goes straight up the side of the ledges the rock climbing's over here and the trail to the top is up here and you can see the yellow marker over here that's for the mid-state trail where my 100 miler was a couple of years ago and that 100 miler still goes on but one thing i remember about this part of the trail was at this point of the race you hit this and this is really hard when you're that far in and your legs are pretty beat up this is really hard to get up <laughs> it's a lot easier for me today but it's still pretty challenging Look at this view it's beautiful out this is crazy and it's funny i don't really remember a lot of this from the race because of my butt being kicked so hard and being so tired but this is just beautiful If you have a fear of heights you probably don't want to watch this part here's the edge of crow hill ledges and there is the view in the distance beautiful day up here as we move along the trail here we can see our destination up ahead that right there is wachusett mountain it's kind of hard to see on the gopro but it is actually a mountain and this is what we call mountains in massachusetts because 
We don't really have big mountains, but they're still pretty hard. I mean, they're still, they're still difficult to climb. <laughs> out here doing what I do best and that is getting lost. <laughs> I managed to lose the trail back there and I was basically bushwhacking through pretty dense forest <laughs> and I have not seen a trail marker in a while but I'm pretty sure we're on the trail. My Garmin's telling me we're not but I don't know how accurate the trail map is for this area because it's not very heavily trafficked and this trail is pretty overgrown so if you look behind me it doesn't look like a lot of people come through here, uh, but we're doing our best. Hopefully I'm heading in the right direction here. We are out of the woods and into a parking lot now. This is uh, Wachusett Mountain. So it's a ski resort in the winter. And in the summertime, it's open to the public for the hiking trails. And it's funny, they've got trail markers in the parking lot handicap sign and a uh, trail marker. So at least I know I'm on the right track. So the trail I'm on right now is called Balance Rock Trail. And um, can you, can you guess why? Can you guess why it's called that? That's a really big rock. I wonder how that rock got up there. All right, now we've reached the big climb on Mount Wachusett. This goes on for about a half a mile, I think. And we'll pop out on the summit. And I'm currently dying. All right, we made it to the top. That's the fire tower we saw from the trail down below. And this is the summit. Be nice to just ride this back down instead of walk. <laughs> Maybe next time. Time to turn around and head back. This took me a lot longer than I expected. Uh, it's about seven miles, six and a half, seven miles in 2,000 feet of climbing. And now we gotta do it all over again. Back to Crow Hill. did it that's the parking area 12 miles 3,000 feet of elevation gain and a lot of technical trails heck of a day out there I'm tired it's a good thing I didn't run hundred miles today whoo it's hot out too I feel like I went swimming I am soaked through the pack is soaked skin is soaked everything's soaked all right I'm gonna drink some electrolytes and start driving home. Thanks for coming along today. I don't even know if this video makes sense to you or if I'm even going to post it because I don't know if I even captured enough of a video to make something out of it. But if you're seeing this, I did. I hope you enjoyed traveling along with me today. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down below. And uh, stay tuned for the next uh, adventure. All right, friends, see you later. Bye.